Get the most complete tiling DVD ever developed. Planning, installation, regulations, maintenance, and more. Buy it today at agphd.com and order your copy of my new book, $100 an hour jobs, lessons from dad, all at agphd.com. Our Weed of the Week is common knotweed. We're standing right by the shelter belt here because quite commonly that's where we'll see knotweed. Well, a lot of times it's right, right in the shelter belts and in the field approaches, this kind of thing. Where there isn't as much competition, common knotweed is one of those weeds that I look at it as kind of ground cover. It's one of those weeds where if there isn't a lot of shade there, you know, if you've got some breaks in your tree belt or in those field approaches where maybe you've got some compaction issues, it's kind of a tough weed. And if there's an opening, you can see some common knotweed getting through. Yeah, but unless you have that opening, knotweed isn't much of a problem. So in a corn and soybean field, in most cases, we don't really have much of an issue. Roundup still does a decent job controlling it. In the farmyard, that's where we see some issues sometimes when grass isn't growing and the knotweed's actually holding the soil down and some kid goes out there and sprays a whole bunch of 2,4-D and kills all the knotweed. Don't look at me, you're the guy that <laughs> did that. All, all of a sudden you have some erosion and your dad gets after you because oh now our soil's moving because he killed all those weeds. Well, okay now I'm here's, going, here's the thing we're trying to do the right thing we're trying to get grass established and how do you get grass established well you control the weeds well you got you to kind of use your head, too, in some situations. I, did, I just didn't realize that knotweed was a cover crop for us. <laughs> well, it is one of those weeds that can be tough to get. Now, if you're in lawns or in grassy areas, you can use a high rate of 2,4-D. If you're just using a light rate, you're not going to get it. It has no. so many growing points that it's just not going to get all the way through the system. So you do need to up your rate a little bit with something simple like 240. Well, there are other products that will control it too, like Tordon is probably the best thing you could use in pastures. But again, we don't see this problem very often in crops, so I wouldn't get too worried about it in corn and soybeans. That's all time for this week's Weed, but there's more Ag PhD to come after this.